Now, this is not so good news, as it seems very, very likely that Venom, Let There Be Carnage, will be delayed again, as it's already been delayed to October 15th, the same day as Halloween Kills, but now it seems like it may be delayed again, again, as, like I said, it's set to come out the same day as Halloween Kills. Now, normally, I wouldn't think anything of it just because an R-rated movie and a comic book movie opening the same day, they can, they have normally separate demographics. But in terms of Venom and Halloween, I think they do kind of reach the same demographic of much more dark and gritty and almost borderline horror in the case of Venom that I think they might, <laughs> for lack of a better term, cannibalize the competition basically and there already are reports i believe from like hollywood reporter that sony's considering moving venom again even though they just said they're moving it to october 15th last week they might be reassessing it and i think that maybe when they rescheduled it they didn't look at the calendar and go oh yeah halloween kills comes out that same day because make no mistake guys halloween kills is absolutely competition for venom let there be carnage I know most people would think horror, comic book. I think the demographic for this is going to be quite similar. And also, I'm not just saying this as a Halloween fan. I'm not. I swear. But don't underestimate the success of that, I was about to say first Halloween, but Halloween 2018. That blew everyone away from a box office perspective. Also, I do find it interesting that Venom came out the same year as Halloween 2018. If I remember correctly, it's like their fates are forever tied to each other. Um, yeah, I, if I'm Venom, it's easier to move your date than it is for Blumhouse to move Halloween. Because for me... Halloween kind of has to come out in October. It's not like a Halloween H2O situation where that came out in like August or September. That just feels weird. Halloween, you need to have that come out in October. Venom, while October, I can see the appeal of a more horror and horrific comic book movie opening in October. Steal some of that spoopy money. It's easier for you to move, which begs the question... It's going to be really uncomfortable to ask, but if Venom Let There Be Carnage moves again and is no longer in this October 15th slot like we're kind of led to believe, does that push Spider-Man No Way Home to 2022? I think this could have tremendous ripple effect. Um, it just depends. I could see one of two scenarios here. Either Venom Let There Be Carnage, three scenarios, I guess. One, Venom Let There Be Carnage doesn't move at all, and it stays with Halloween, in which case, does Halloween move again? Either a week up and go, hey, we did this for you, the fans. We're going to open a week early. Um, do they move it a week after the 22nd? Or does Venom move to next year? Spider-Man keeps its date in December, in which case, that blows Sony's plan of... Well, this kind of will confirm to the audience that they're not connected, which some of us already kind of know that they're not connected, but maybe they were. Or so, you, you kind of know what I'm getting at, people. Of, I think if this comes out after instead of before Spider-Man, it's going to be hard to convince people that this is connected somehow. Or maybe there is a specific order that this and Spider-Man needs to come out. I don't think Morbius has a specific spot that it needs to come out, hence why that's coming out in January next year. If this gets delayed, does this take Morbius' spot in January? And Morbius... I don't want to say it! But does this... If this gets moved to Morbius' spot... Does Morbius then take Uncharted's spot? Because it better not... Uncharted better not get delayed... Again! I need my February 18th Uncharted release date. Please, 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 please do not move this again. Or the third scenario. Venom moves to Spider-Man slot on December 22nd and Spider-Man moves to sometime in 2022, which is why we have not gotten an actual official trailer for No Way Home yet, despite some very convincing fake trailers out there that some people are buying into. <sighs> if I had to guess, I would say Spider-Man is keeping its release date in December and Venom might take Morbius' spot in January. 
which leaves Uncharted in very dangerous territory. I know some people are like, well, they're not they're not connected. They're not in the Spider-Man universe. They're still owned by Sony, and I think they really want Uncharted to do well, so they want it to have a prime spot, which kind of begs the question of why it would have come out in February, but I'm not ignoring your very obvious and very clear and well-thought-out issues that you might have with the Uncharted movie. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be the greatest movie of all time, and I'm not in denial whatsoever at this point. Um, it's... I thought we were getting back to normalcy in the movies, but Sony, as we've seen more than any other studio, has been very gung-ho in terms of we will release this movie when it makes sense for us to release this movie. And when we can make the most money. They have not released a single movie in the pandemic era. They've still waited for everything to clear up. Now, if this gets moved, actually, there's one more option that I didn't think about. If this does get moved, this could take Ghostbusters slot in November because that is also a Sony movie in which case Ghostbusters unfortunately would might be moved to 2022 because that that I think can be slotted anywhere it could be a Halloween era movie but it's currently coming out in November now so if that comes out in November it can come out anytime and I have high expectations for Ghostbusters but I think that one could be moved to move to make room for Venom, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of options here for Sony if they choose to do that. It's just, it's confusing and it hurts my brain to think about my little brain to think all these different options. It's it's like the Charlie Day meme from It's Always Sunny of just like, here's the th- here's the board of if this happens and this happens and this happens and then this could happen. It, let's just get back to normalcy, please. Everyone just take care of yourselves and those around you so we can go back to the theaters again sometime soon. Because I don't, I, I want to see Venom just like everybody else, but I want there to stop being delays, please, more than anything else.